to a MongoDB video series. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, one of the special feature of uh, MongoDB is called projections. Yeah. So in previous video tutorial, we have learned how to select data from MongoDB using a find API, right? So, you know, while using the find API, you may use uh, this projections feature to filter out uh, basically not selecting the entire document, but uh, some selected attribute. Right. So let's try to understand uh, basically if what is projections in uh, MongoDB and finally we'll jump into the practical example. Yeah. So when we talk about the projections, right, MongoDB provides a special feature that is known as projection. As I said, it allows you to select only the necessary data rather than selecting whole data from the document. Right. Uh, let's assume uh, let's let's assume you have a document has of 10 fields right and you need to show only five fields right while selecting performing the uh, basically find uh, method right then uh, how, how we can select the out of uh, 10 fields only i'm interested to select five fields or out of uh, three fields i want to select uh, only one or two something like that right how so in sql right when you do select a star from a uh, basically table name then it will select all the columns from the table similarly when you issue the find command right then it will select the all the attributes from each document within the collection but sometimes you need to be uh, very selective right if you are interested in select only two fields out of let's say 200 fields or 100 fields <laughs> something like that right so this is a really a kind of a performance optimization as well right so now uh, so whenever whenever we use a find method right uh, that uh, accepts a second optional parameter as well right uh, and that is nothing but the list of fields that you want to retrieve or select right in mongodb when you execute find method right then it displays all the fields of the of a doc document to limit this you need to set list of fields with either value one or true or a zero or false right one means true uh, either you can specify whatever let's say some co column value or some attribute value you want to select right then you can set value as one or true similarly if you don't want to select some uh, column value then either you can set zero or false right so one stands for true and zero stands for false right so if you set the value as zero or false then you, you want to hide those those fields and one means you want to select right and basic syntax is nothing but a db and then collection name find and uh, if you specify empty curly bracket that means uh, you are that means uh, you will select all the fields right but if you specify key with value one then you, you are selected to if you are interested to select that field if key with value zero that means you are not interested to select that uh, field right now one thing you have to keep in mind uh, so underscore id right a column that is basically if you do not specify while inserting the document uh, within the collection then underscore id would be generated uh, by a mongodb server itself right if you specify even if you specify underscore id then same will be inserted into the mongodb server but that value should be always unique and one one thing you need to keep in mind when you do uh, basically by default underscore id value is one out of true so if you want if you don't want to select id underscore id field then explicitly you need to set either as true or false now let's jump into the practical example yeah so here is the mongodb shell and here uh, uh, i'm going to basically issue this command first of all db users find now it is going to basically select all basically documents and with all the fields right now you can see so right now let's say if you specify projection if you get something like this right if you give the empty bracket uh, braces and close braces that means it will select again whole documents right now let me clean the terminal now let's say uh, here I am only interested to select let's say name right so I would say here again you have to specify the first parameter right this is this is a condition empty condition means uh, there is no condition right filtration condition second you have to specify what all value you, uh, we want to basically select right so let's say i want to select let's say name name sorry inside the curly place you have to give let's say name and i am going to set value for this guy one so it is going to basically select a uh, name 
as well as underscore id let me show you okay there is a, some problem so okay so there is a typo so here you can see it is selecting id as well as name as i said uh name we have explicitly specified here i am I, I am basically interested to select the name field but underscore id is always true so if it, if you are not interested to select underscore id then what you can specify underscore id you can specify explicitly zero this this uh, that means this column will be hidden yeah one second so here you can see now uh, underscore id column uh, is hidden completely right so underscore id default uh, value is one or true now what we have discussed in the slide either you can set the value as one or true true or one both are same right true t r u e t r u e and it's instead of zero you can specify false as well right both are same right and here you can see it is working perfectly fine now let me clean this now uh, let's say I, I'm interested to select some more fields. Let's say uh, apart from the uh, name, I am interested to also select age, right? So I would say age and of course age and colon. Let's say one means I want to select. Even you can specify true and here, here is the result, right? That's how you can specify. Now let's, let me show you one special huge case, right? So here, uh, let me select first of all, all data. So this is all data and let's say what exactly I want here. I want, uh, let's say I want the, all the users data whose age is, let's say 30, right? So first, uh, uh, first basically JSON document right now it is empty, empty. It specify the condition. So here I am going to give age, age and only I am interested to select the, all the users details, which age is 30. Right, this is the condition for first and second curly bracket. I'm going to specify the projection, and uh, so I want all the users' data, all the all the users uh, basically name as well as CT, whose age is 30. Right, that's the basically condition. So here I I'll do hey select me the name and one. So I want to select and uh, I I want to see the CT as well. So it says CT and one but i don't want to interested to see the id so i would say underscore id should be masked masked so i would say id let's say zero and if i press enter here you can see so kk and raj if you look into the kk and raj whose age is 30. so first is the condition applied and second is the what all the attributes or column value we want to select or if you don't want to select then you can specify value as zero right and that's how basically projection works in the mongodb i hope you understood all the concept related to projection so thank you so much for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial